Alright, I say, uh... It's no secret that Disney has played a major role in influencing kids back in the early 90s, helping them develop a love for cartoon characters with well-written storylines and gave us thrilling and heartwarming moments like this. I remember crying so bad after watching that scene, but don't laugh at me now. I was a little kid with uncontrollable emotions. And speaking about uncontrollable emotions, this artist on TikTok is literally losing his shits and for good reason because someone in the all great, all powerful Disney studio thought it would be a good idea to steal his work and resell it all across Disney parks without his consent or prior knowledge. Now let's talk about that. So usually when we have situations like this come up regarding art theft, it's usually just a rando on Twitter stealing from a popular artist and then sharing it as their own work pretending to be a professional artist or a tracer taking work from others and blatantly tracing most of the image while changing some details to make it seem genuine. Or those weird art repost pages on Instagram with a few humans in their bot section asking for the page to credit the artist because after stealing the art, the next most hardest thing to do is to properly credit the artist. So situations like this where a big franchise is getting called out for literally art theft is really interesting and definitely bound to go viral, turn a few heads and create a controversial situation for both the artists calling them out and the big franchise themselves. Which neatly brings us to our artist of today. Meet Andrew Martin, a Canadian based character artist, toy designer, professional sculptor and just an absolute giga chat of a man. I mean, just take a look at him. Mm. Now that's a fine man right there. Mr. Fine Man Andrew has approximately 400,000 followers in his TikTok account where he shares process videos of his extremely detailed 3D models, collaborations with other creators and uh, memes. So as a 3D modeler with years of experience just practicing and mastering his craft while also being a big fan of Disney and all their work, he decided to make fan art of one of their IPs which happened to be the Tiki drama from the Enchanted Tiki Room. Since he loved it a lot as a kid and he wanted to share his fan art with other fans of Disney who loved it as well. So he did what every normal person will do which is to make your fan art, publish it, share it across all your social media platforms and hope for the best. But little did he know what was coming. Disney stole my artwork and is selling it in their parks. Yay. A bit of backstory. In 2018, I made this fan art sculpture of one of the Tiki drummers from Disney's Enchanted Tiki Room. I have loved the Tiki Room ever since I first saw it as a kid and wanted to recreate a small piece of it for myself. When I posted images of this little guy on social media, I received hundreds of messages from people looking to buy it. Not wanting to deal with that, I released the 3D model on Thingiverse under a Creative Commons license so people could just make one for themselves. Oh, now that actually makes sense. Just keeping it safe and trying to avoid any legal retaliation from Disney. Smart. But I still have seen people make fan art of intellectual properties and sell them as prints, merchandise, or other forms of marketable material and keep all the profits for themselves. Even when all these characters and IPs are not technically meant to be sold as merchandise under legal terms. So I'm kind of confused here. If any of you have sold merch or prints of any intellectual property, please tell us in the comments how that went. And if you ran into any legal trouble selling fan art of characters that are not yours and are official IPs of like big companies because some of us are literally clueless how that works. Then last week, a friend of mine sends me this photo of the official Disney World 50th anniversary commemorative music box featuring the Tiki drummer. And he said, hey, that looks a lot like yours. And I was surprised because it did look a lot like mine. Because, because it is mine. Don't believe me? Let's take a closer look, shall we? I have identified a few landmark areas that are identical between my model and the one that Disney is selling. I think the most evident being these two circles here which are conjoined on mine because I was just lazy, and the same two are conjoined on the Disney one. 
these three cut marks here, and these three are identical between the two models. Surprise, surprise. And this cut here, the dent in the forehead, the cut on the lip, and these little marks here, they're identical between both models. Do I really need to go on? If you just take a look at both images, you can see that this is an exact replica of his work. It appears nothing was even changed at all. Nothing was improved on. And I'm guessing the person who was supposed to be working on this just had to make a 3D model. And instead of just taking the time to make a model themselves, they just went on Google and typed in Tiki Drummer 3D model. And obviously Andrew's work popped up and they just took it and used it for whatever they wanted to do without even thinking about who made it in the first place. Did they think no one will recognize the model and somehow show it to the original artist who made the work and especially since they intended to sell it at different parks and being that it's Disney, definitely a lot of people are going to see it and buy it. So the chances of the original artist seeing it and knowing it's his own work, especially since he had his little secret marks inside, is just extremely very high. So yeah, Disney's taking credit for my work and selling it in their parks without my permission, consent, or even giving artist credit. Now, I'm going to give Disney the benefit of the doubt in that they probably did not intend to directly steal my work. These sorts of projects are usually subcontracted out to freelance artists. I know this because I've been one of those freelance artists. I sculpted this up ornament. Yay! So the most likely thing is the thief was some lazy waste of skin talentless hack that got him or herself an easy payday by stealing my work and passing it off as their own. So, yeah, if you happen to be in Disney World, you can buy this Disney-branded bootleg of my work. Fun times. Do better, Disney. And even if whoever works on this wants to argue that it is their own work and whatever Andrew is saying doesn't count, how can they explain why the one they're selling has the exact same marks in the same places as Andrew's 3D model? I'm really curious on what Disney is going to do now and how they're going to respond to these allegations of blatant plagiarism. Update on Disney stealing my artwork and selling it in their parks. Yay. I was wrong. I admit it. I was wrong in giving Disney the benefit of the doubt and assuming that it was some freelancer that stole my work. Because it appears it wasn't just some freelancer. Very far from it. One of my followers on here kindly sent me a photo of the bottom of this Tiki music box. And as you can see, it has an artist credit. The person who plagiarized my work is Costa Elevezos. Don't know who that is? I didn't either. According to his public LinkedIn profile, he is the product design manager for the Walt Disney Company and has been for almost six years. Beyond that, he's been a Disney staff artist since 1997. So yeah, not some freelancer. This is someone who should know better than to steal other artists' work and then try and take credit for it. So, Costa, how many other artists' work have you plagiarized with your years at the Disney Company? I'm not disappointed. I'm just mad. How can you just take someone's work because it's fan art of a character from the studio you're working for, pass it off as your own without giving the original artist any form of credit or anything, or at least just mentioning their name somewhere in whatever you're doing. That way you're just paying tribute to them just the same way as they're paying tribute to your characters. I'm probably sure this sort of thing has happened before where studios just take work from artists, especially if the work is really good and up to the standards of the work that the studio produces and then they just use it as official art without the artist even finding out or knowing at all. I mean, just because it's fan art of your characters doesn't give you the right to use anyone's work and then just not give the person credit because of sheer lack of originality that doesn't make any sense i absolutely love the way he's just calling them out and not even caring about hurting any person's feelings because they probably didn't care when they were stealing the work in the first place it just seems they're more concerned with saving face and just trying to look good on the internet instead of actually facing the problem head on and just handling it as it is small update on disney stealing my artwork and selling it in their parks a commenter mentioned that Disney has taken down the Tiki Music Box from their web store, which appears to be the case. 
Now, it could be that it just sold out, or they could have taken it down for another reason. Also taken down are the social media accounts of the Disney product design manager and thief that stole my work. Fortunately, I took screenshots of everything before he did that. Here is an Instagram post he made, again claiming that he designed this. Yeah, no you didn't. I took the time to do an image overlay with the image he posted on his social media and a render I made of my model. Now, I had trouble getting the perspective exactly between my model and the image, but if we flip back and forth, I think you can see that he did not make this. There's a small scratch here, these very faint ones above the leg. They exist on my model and unsurprisingly on the model he's taking credit for. Go fuck yourself, you shitty thief. Taking down the product is a great step towards the right direction, so at least the artist knows their work is not in production anymore. And even though they made some money already before taking it down, at least they're not selling it anymore. But taking down the social media accounts of the production design manager is not doing anything at all than just to prevent themselves from getting any backlash from the internet. They could have easily just made a post explaining what happened or just said it was some form of a mix-up and apologize to the artists, further proving the point that they're a strong company that accepts their mistakes and stands up and apologizes for them, instead of just running away to hide in a little corner like a cowardly dog named Courage. Well, to be honest, I wouldn't even say I'm surprised this is the route Disney is taking because it's so easy for them to ignore everything that's being said on social media and just pretend like this never even happened, then wait till all the hype has died down, then release a public statement addressing the situation, or even just shrug it off and literally do nothing, which honestly is what I suspect they might actually do. And the thing about trending controversies like this is, even when a large portion of people forget about the situation later on, you know one person who isn't forgetting anything? The artist who made the work in the first place. So obviously if any update comes up from Disney, the artist is definitely going to see it and reply to it with his honest opinion. And the solution to this is really easy if anyone just cared about thinking about it at all. Seek the artist's consent before using their work in whatever project you're working on. It's clearly obvious that these artists are already fans of your characters, which is why they go out of their way to make beautiful fan art of your stuff. So reaching out to them, asking them if you could use their work to promote your game or animated show or whatever, it's just going to end up making their day and everyone can end up happily ever after. And even if that proves to be difficult or the artist couldn't be reached via mail, DMs, ravens, carrier pigeons, Amazon Express, Uber Eats, the best thing to do is give them credit whenever you use their work. So at least if they see it somewhere and then get mad because you didn't reach out to them before using their work in whatever you're doing, they'll see that you still gave them credit and then they won't get too mad at you for doing that. And another thing you could do to make it even better, compensate the artist for the time and effort they spent making the work. It doesn't have to be a shit ton of money, but you could give them a small token to just show your appreciation of their work. And I'm sure everyone will just be smiling at the sound of that. And then finally, if it isn't too much to ask for, hire the artist to work on a project or something down the line, especially if they're capable of working on big projects based off of their skills so that way you can actually have them make official work just for you and then you can do whatever you want to do with it and also the average fan artist gets to be paid as a professional artist working in the industry which is what some studios should learn from EA games and Bioware. I really hope they do reply to Andrew or at least compensate him in some way because this isn't a good look for Disney and just dragging this situation out this long is not nice at all. Anyways, that's all I have for you today. If you enjoyed the video, please leave it a like, share the video with a friend or someone that loves Disney <laughs> and then subscribe to my channel if you're new here and also follow me on Twitter and Instagram at Mohamed Abadi. And with all that being said, I will see all you pretty penguins in the next video. Peace.